Hello again everyone, Edwin Laird back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about what I hate about the zodiac sign Capricorn, and yes, it does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Well, anyway, people, first thing I hate about Capricorn is that they could be so uh, dominated by their career interests, and really, it could be such where it just takes such precedence over so many things constantly. I understand people have to have a career uh, often to to make their money and, and even for their subsistence and survival needs. But I mean, Capricorn of all the signs in the zodiac can be like they can work excessive hours sometimes when it doesn't need to be because they are just I mean. This sign is arguably the most ambitious of all the signs, and it's like they're doing whatever it takes to meet their career aims, but at the same time, you got to have some fun and enjoyment, too, and I think Capricorn often has difficulty in doing so, and some Capricorns can succumb to ruthless ambition and may uh, romp over others in really in the process of doing so in some instances if Capricorn energy is very strongly afflicted. Now... Another thing, too, that I hate about Capricorn is they could be overly serious. It's very, uh, Capricorns, excuse me, most of them have a difficult time being whimsical or capricious. Uh, keep in mind that Sagittarius often falls on the 12th house cusp in a solar or natal chart for Capricorn. So that could have something to do with it. They often have difficulty expressing that jocular side. But at the same time, Capricorns occasionally can let the giddy goat come out of them, so to speak. And uh, they could have a caustic wit and have a rather, I guess, a wry or dry, I mean, maybe dry is what I'm thinking of, sense of humor. Now, another thing I hate about Capricorn is they could be overly rigid and intransigent. I understand Capricorn is not a fixed sign, but with sometimes with their way of thinking, they're everything but a fixed sign. They could be overly rigid in their uh, viewpoints. They often have difficulty expanding outside of the box, so to speak. I think a lot of this goes to Sagittarius on that 12th house cusp, uh, often in a solar or natal chart uh, for Capricorn. They really are just, uh, they often are just very set in, in their, uh, in what they believe in. And, and the thing is, they're almost, like I said before, almost like a fixed sign, very close uh, to it. Capricorn might be the most fixed of the cardinal signs. And really, uh, they I think a lot of times they will be set on what they believe in. They won't even explore the other options. Or even at times when there, there's a chance to look at another viewpoint, they won't even even try to Google it or whatever, or, or even investigate it because they just feel what they're saying is it and they don't want to deviate from that way of thinking. So anyway, another thing I hate about the Zodiac sign Capricorn is they could often be very cold and come across as undemonstrative. I mean, keep in mind, there is a reason the moon is in its detriment in Capricorn. Capricorn I don't, I'm not saying they're devoid of feelings or emotionality, but they do have very difficulty at often in expressing their emotions and uh, their feelings. They may show compassion in ways that are, that really aren't, um, that aren't that obvious. It might be more through the actions and it really is not, uh, it's not so much that they're going to uh, sit by somebody and cuddle them or, or nurture them or, or show sympathy in real uh, blatant or obvious ways, but they could still do so in their own way, perhaps maybe by doing things uh, for that person. And uh, Capricorns, I mean, uh, that they still, I mean, they could provide support for others. They're often good at mentoring others so they do show it in certain ways but they're just really not in terms of the sympathy and really the, the strong sensitivity they generally have difficulty showing this now another thing I hate about Capricorn is they are generally not the most innovative signs on average they often stick to what's orthodox and what's conventional they're not ones to really go outside that box, uh, so to speak. I mean, 
they uh they are just really they're more about the true and the tried they they're they really i think it just that what it has to do with capricorn is that capricorn is very conservative and it being an earth sign they're very careful and prudent and they're not even ones necessarily to take a chance even on something that's new like a new stock or or some new product they often like to have what has been working for them uh, for some time and they're just there's something with capricorn where they're just not the most progressive people and i mean capricorn is ruled by saturn and saturn is about restriction so i think it maybe that might play a little role in it and also again we go back to sagittarius being on the 12th house cusp often in a solar natal chart and that's about expanding outside the box and i think capricorn can have difficulty doing that sometimes now Capricorns, the ones that are on the cusp of Aquarius, might express ingenuity a little bit stronger than the typical uh, Capricorn. And keep in mind, Aquarius often falls on the second house cusp for, Cap for a Capricorn. So, I mean, you might have some Capricorns that can express uh, certain ingenuity, maybe in their in their job and, and what they're doing in terms, I should say, I'm sorry, not well, in generating income. So it can be expressed at times, but generally speaking, Capricorn is very conventional. Now, another thing I hate about Capricorn is that they could be rather depressive and melancholy. And I think the sign of all the others can uh, is most susceptible to succumbing to some kind of uh, depression. And uh, whether it, whether it's very strong or mild, and even in, in, in even the ones that don't, there's often certain despondency with Capricorn. Even if it's not a clinical diagnosis of depression, Capricorn is really it's the sad uh, sign. It is ruled by Saturn, and the problem with with this is not just about how you know it affects them and their attitude toward things. It could also affect the people around them, especially. If you have an impressionable sign such as say Pisces or Cancer that might be more susceptible uh, to other people's moods so it could really in, in that sense it could really be detrimental in terms of affecting other people so and anyway and, and back to getting uh, difficulty getting out of the box for Capricorn Capricorn I think also is difficulty in, in what I hate about the sign is they can often have difficulty in, in getting outside the box thinking outside the box and things connected with the abstract it's just something that generally is not often up Capricorn's alley and I mean Capricorn is very good in other things don't get me wrong they often have tremendous business acumen and, and really got and, and could be good at business administration or anything business related anything connected with their career generally is this is arguably the most ambitious sign of the zodiac but they do have difficulty getting uh, outside the box I think and it's just something that's very rigid about the sign and, and I think a lot of it is attributed to that now another thing too that I hate about Capricorn is they could be very uh, authoritative and even if it's not a situation when they're in a position of authority you could still see uh, this authoritative attitude uh, with them I had a friend of mine that I work with he was in Aries with a Capricorn moon and even when he kind of was demoted or demoted himself or whatever because I think he went to like a part-time position he was no longer uh, a, a manager at the store I work with he still was very authoritative in, in, in the way he acted toward others as if he was still in that position there's just something about this sign that really is it can be a little bit bossy at times in, in, in a negative manifestation so even if they're not in a position where they have somebody uh, under them in, in, in terms of their job or whatever and when they're not in a position of authority they still often express this even even so even and it could even be perhaps with uh people that are on the same work level as they are such as fellow employees or even outside of their work life so another thing about capricorn that i hate too is that i mean this sign could be very uh, exceptionally quiet and i know there's a lot worse things that someone can do uh, besides being uh, very quiet but I think Capricorn 
at times needs to be a little bit more loquacious and talkative and, and really express their viewpoints on things because I think a lot of times Capricorn, I mean, I understand they have a lot of discipline. I think Capricorns can often listen pretty good and because they're often about, I mean, ideas with Capricorn ideas often take precedence over what is spoken. And I mean, Capricorn may not talk much, but it doesn't mean they don't have certain ideas and they, they have certain uh, ability uh, to formulate things that are that are very good and, and really have solid ideas and concepts and, and really uh, and, and have good understanding of them but they also and also their uh, as far as their philosophies go and I go I go again Sagittarius often being on the 12th house cusp in a solar or natal chart for Capricorn I think what it is is their the philosophical outlook is not always expressed very easily doesn't mean they don't have it but they do they, they just often will not uh, express this and Capricorn can have certain ability as far as communicative skills because keep in mind that Gemini uh, which of course is associated with communication often falls on the sixth house cusp for Capricorn in a solar or natal chart so they can incorporate that in their daily routine but they're still much more quiet than as opposed to the average zodiac sign on average so anyway people That'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for what I hate about Capricorn. Stay tuned next time where I'll be talking about what I hate about Aquarius. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well